Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me this week. So this week I'm going to be talking about Gamma, the AI presentation tool again, but of course with the caveat that as teachers, if we're going to be using them, we're not going to be using the app for teacher-centered lecture style lessons. So if you want to come and explore this app with me of how we can create perhaps a more engaging inquiry-based lesson with the Gamma app, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I've been so impressed with the Gamma app that I thought, let me just make another video. And I did a little bit of research on the co-founders and then started following Grant Lee, one of the co-founders, and I just love their philosophy. They've kept their team small. It's very much about creating a tool for people that really have no design background like me. I used to spend hours and hours putting all of my presentations together, even trying to use templates, but I just found Gamma, you actually have lifted and elevated us to another level. Okay, so uh, let me just move myself out of the way and make myself a little bit smaller here. So you can see I'm on the templates. I actually subscribe to the pro version and you know that I don't subscribe to many AI tools because I believe that less is more, but this is a tool that I really believe will elevate your designs, but at the same time, keep the lessons interactive. So, um, so I know a lot of corporates use it. So you can see there's a pitch deck. Uh, market strategy, projects, collaboration, sales, and marketing. I'd love to see some templates that are uh, education-based, but really focus on transforming education and pedagogical practices. So not encouraging that teacher-centered lecture style, but a student-centered inquiry-based style. But I'm going to demonstrate anyway how we can use this tool. So if I go to just my gammas, and I'm gonna create new with AI. So you can see I've got three choices here. I can paste in the text and it will create the notes from an outline or existing content. I'm going to be using the AI generator, create from a one line prompt in a few seconds. I couldn't actually do one line. I wanted to a little bit more detail and give the AI tool more direction. So you'll see my prompt in a moment. And then I can also import a file or URL to enhance existing docs presentations or web pages, which is quite amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna just generate the AI here, uh, presentation tool. What I did was in terms of prompting, it really is about the art of communication, right? So I've got my own framework that I use based on the five canons of rhetoric, and it's not about engineering, as I've mentioned before. So what if I said, create a PowerPoint presentation for a one hour workshop on AI powered pedagogy, focus primarily on effective teaching methodologies with AI tools presented only as enhancements to these approaches, include sections on key pedagogical frameworks, relevant AI tools that support them, implementation guidance and ethical considerations, add two or three elements for audience engagement and provide practical classroom examples using clean design with minimal text. Now, I might just add in here effective teaching methodologies. I might just add in, I don't know if this is gonna go over the word count, so let me try. Inquiry, okay, yeah, inquiry based. Okay, good, I can still uh, fit that in. I'll put EG, and now I'm going to generate. I actually have no idea what it's gonna come up with. I haven't done a trial before, but I've actually used Gamma to create lots of different presentations. Okay, so let's see what it's got. Let's look at the content. Uh, you could see also that the default was eight cards. I just put eight cards. It's only one hour long. I could have in uh, increased that to about 20. So what is the actual content outline? So 60 minutes, pedagogical frameworks. And remember, I can edit this, okay? Foundations of effective learning. So student-centered, inquiry, project-based, collaborative, beautiful, critical thinking, uh, interactive element. Okay, so this looks pretty good to me so far. You can see slide three is about the inquiry-based learning framework. Uh, slide four, project-based learning. Yes, uh, number five, collaborative learning ecosystems. And then AI tools as pedagogical enhancers. Absolutely ethical considerations and except This looks pretty good. So you can see I can choose different themes here, which I can change a little bit later. Let me just choose this one. Um, content, brief, medium, detailed. 
okay, let's let, let's put detailed for now so that we can cut back. We can always cut back, right? Image source AI generate uh, AI images, and then I can use Flux Pro, which I think Flux Pro at the moment is the one that I'm using the most because it's the most realistic. But you can see there's Leonardo, Luma, Imogen, so you can choose DALI premium models. Uh, let's try DALI because I prefer DALI actually. All right, so let's press generate. And let's see what it comes up with. I'm going to just move myself over here so that you can see this is live. I haven't edited anything. Here we go. All right. Now, I think I accidentally chose the dark background. You know that I don't like the dark background because of my astigmatism. So I'm going to have to change uh, the actual design layout and colors. But let's just look for the content first because I actually chose that by accident. Yeah, I'm finding this very difficult to read for my eyes. But we're up to slide five, collaborative learning strategies. Uh, number six, AI tools as pedagogical enhancers. And remember, I said, remember, I asked for a lot more detail on each slide. So there's going to be a lot of words, but I wanted that on purpose because then I can cut back and I can actually edit it. Okay, so... Let's have a look at this. Okay, so first of all, I wanna actually change the design. So let me just move myself over here and let me just find it. I never remember any of the functionalities. I just kind of have a play around here, but I can see theme. So let's edit the theme because this is too dark for me. And then we'll go over. Now I do have my own theme stored somewhere. I just can't seem to find it. Where is my own theme? Custom, maybe there it is. It was under custom. All right. Oh, that's so much better for my eyes. Thank you. So let me just go through this. And remember, there's a lot of words here which I'm going to be modifying. Okay. So this perhaps is more of a script. And then I can, you know, change uh, and then I can edit. So welcome to the workshop. So that's the welcome. And then this is quite nice, just giving some percentages. I would like to verify that. So I would actually look up those studies and then give the references. But Foundations of Effective Teaching, 43% engagement increase with student-centered learning approaches compared to traditional methods. I can easily look that up on my consensus app, which I have also subscribed to, to get a percentage. And then 37% faster critical thinking. So development when students participate in guided inquiry activities, 30% faster in critical thinking. And then the three key frameworks, inquiry-based, project-based, and collaborative learning. Great. Okay. So what's next? Let me just jump to uh, number three. So hang on. How do I jump there? There we go. Uh, inquiry-based learning. So I might change uh, some of these headings, but it really is about asking, investigating, creating, discussing, and then reflecting or, or something similar, I would say. And remember, we can change these template cards and images too. So something that I actually love is, look here, when I press edit with AI, I can improve the writing, translate. So for accessibility, inclusivity as well, simplify the language, make shorter, okay, break, uh, make this more visual. Let's just try that so that you can see. And so far, we're very much teacher-centered, right? So I'm hoping that we're going to see the interactivity, but we can always add the act interactivity in. This is just the beginning of the front loading. And so those pictures are loading at the moment. Let's just wait for those pictures to load. And I used dull E. Oh, okay. All right. So I can still, you know, refigure that. All right. Let's go to the next one. So I suppose it goes through those three different types of effective learning um, pedagogies, but I still can't see the interactivity. So let me just go down. Okay. I like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I love the work that's here and they've even given. Um, some pedagogical approaches, AI tools, example of tools and primary benefit. So inquiry-based learning, contact connection, use Canva AI, Adobe Express, beautiful. So that's pretty nice. But so far, it still is very teacher-centered. So I want something a little more interactive, I'm sure. I suppose it's pedagogy first, join the 30-day implementation challenge. So 
this is not interactive enough for me. So if I go down, I can go back to the prompt and let's just regenerate something that's a little more. Okay, so let me put interactive here, add to my prompt. Okay, I'm actually up to the text limit. So let me just forget about using the clean design because I can actually change that. Interactive, I'm gonna put highly interactive because I know that Gamma does a lot of polls. Okay, let's just generate the outline now. And I still got eight cards as well. Okay, so here we go. Oh, this is interesting. The six core pedagogical principles, which actually are the six core that I mentioned in my book. Excellent. Inquiry based. Now it's gone to personalized direction, personalized uh, SAMA. So it's gone in a slightly different direction, but it's given me an interactive element, small group discussion. How might you use AI to support personalization while maintaining? Okay, and you can see I can delete slides here, so I don't really want to include that one. Uh, what else? Yeah, send me a practical. Okay, let's just have a look at this. And I can um, then also go to my custom template here, which is a much lighter one. And then let's just go to medium. I think it was far too detailed. I'm going to stick with Dolly. And then this is the last time I'm going to generate because I don't want to be really wasting energy resources by generating something that I'm actually not going to use or only for demonstration purposes. I'm going to make sure that I actually use this. Okay, so what is it going to come up with? Okay, here we go. Okay, great. Love the six core pedagogical principles. Absolutely. The Samir model. There's lots of different models, of course, but Sabia is the one that I talk about in my book, AI Powered Pedagogy. Okay, that's next steps as well. Okay, so let's try and make this a little more interactive because we've got the card templates here. And let me just have a look. So these are more like the visuals. Okay, you can see calls to action miscellaneous. They're the card templates. What's here? Smart layouts. So blank layout, templates, horizontal lines. So so much choice here. Basic blocks. So if you want a table, call out box, interactive, okay. And then images we've got from the different image generators. You can import videos. You can uh, embed different app, well, different apps uh, can be embedded here as well. Charts and diagrams. Lovely, so donut, and then some forms and stuff. Okay, so I would still try to have some kind of formative assessment little questions or something that's a little more interactive. This is still information giving. In previous presentations, I've actually created ones and they've given wonderful suggestions with little pauses for interactivity. So I suppose I can add them in. I think it's really important that we have moments of reflection. So for example, once we go through the six pedagogical principles, we may ask teachers to reflect on which one they think is their strength. It could be inclusive teaching and addressing diverse learning needs, and then which area they would like to develop more and have a self-reflection here. So I can add those elements in just to, to remind us to really keep those um, interactive elements. And here, this is actually from my book, Inquire, Design, Engage, and then Analyze and Synthesize. This is the ideas framework. Actually, for me, when you're developing prompts and you're engaging with any prompt tools, so that's interesting. When do, where does that come from? And then the Samir model is something I mentioned in my book. Anyway, it's such a wonderful start. So Gamma, I want to say thank you so much for really helping people like me, a non-designer, but you know, someone that really wants to get my message out about the importance of focusing on the pedagogy when using any AI tool and using any AI tool to create student-centered lessons that still focus on inquiry. So this is a great start, this template. I've shown other ones before where the gammas created have been so interactive with lots of different pauses for reflection and even some corny jokes. <laughs> 
So, you know, please feel free to explore this. And this is the one that I've chosen to subscribe to because they also give a free version. So I could really have a play around with this before signing up and then commit. So thank you once again, everyone, for joining me this week. And I hope to see you next time.